All right, I have dug up some jujube roots. Uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to graft the jujubes to it and see if it works. Last time I did it, it, it worked. So I'm gonna try some more. First, I'm gonna clean it. You wanna make sure it's pretty clean before you graft it. So here. Or clean ones. You want to make sure it dries. You don't want wet grafting. So I'm gonna make sure it's dry. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna graft jujube from root today. I have those cutting right here. And you see the roots of jujube, those, I dug out some of them from the ground. So I'm gonna graft a few of these today and we'll see if it grows. So I'm gonna graft this root of jujube. And right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my previous mat. Okay, I'm gonna cut this right here. And then I'll make about one inch deep cut to the jujube root right in the middle as you can see it's cut like this make sure it's clean cut your blade is sharp then i'm gonna come over here pick one of the stick that i want to graft to and then take it like this from both sides if you want to do this Now, once doing that, you want to insert this part right here to the cut that you made. Just like this. Now, it should look exactly like this skin to skin cover. Okay? Now, for this, what I'm going to do. Since this one is going to be in ground up until here, I'm gonna use parafilm tape. Best thing about parafilm tape is once you graft it, you don't have to remove it. Your graft will grow out of it. You don't have to remove this tape. So this is the best thing I like about parafilm tape. See, like that. Make sure you cover the whole area that you made a cut to. Perfect. Now your graft is done. You can see it's neat and clean. Now what you want to do is, since you dug this up from the ground, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant it into the soil. I'm going to plant it. And then I'm going to leave about this high. Okay. Now, the root part will stay down on the ground and your graft part, the wood stock is on the bottom, your scion will stay on the top. Now, sometimes what I like to do is from keep this from drying, I would use a paraffin tape and tape this around like this. to keep this from drying. Now, you can do this, or there's a couple more ways you can do it. Okay, you can go all the way up to right here. That will keep it from drying. Or what you can do is you can cut up one of these water bottles. Like this. Like, 
and you can put that on the top so this will develop the moisture in there and it'll keep your graft from drying out or you can purchase one of these tape uh, I mean uh, grafting bag that you can just go over and put it like this and it works either way so I'm gonna do a few of these I'm gonna leave a couple on the bottle I'm gonna do a couple with the plastic thing and I'm gonna do as you can see right here I have more and I have more roots so I'm gonna do some more and then I'm gonna keep it like this keep it moisture and we're gonna come back in maybe about three four weeks to check it and see how the new growth has taken off so yep that's how you graft the judy ruby from roots all right jujubes that we grafted on the root so update 